Elbow party to me? <sighs> well, that's a complicated question. It's a game of speed and precision. You have to be just as skilled mentally as you are physically. Sometimes they become a chess match between you and your opponent. But most importantly, it's a game of heart. Yeah, I think it's the best goddamn sport ever invented. Pardon my language. What does elbow pong mean to me? <laughs> it's easy. Winning. Winning at any cost. Next question. What is your ultimate goal in elbow pong? Whew. I never really thought about that before. I think my goal is to be a good role model for the kids, you know. With all these hoochie mama singers and gangster rappers out there now. It's tough for kids to find a good role model these days. So I think it's my ultimate goal to be a good role model for the kids. But wouldn't you like to win a championship someday? You know, I'd love to win this weekend's championship game, but that's not my ultimate goal. I've had a long and successful career. If I don't win that final game, so be it. As long as I can be a good role model for the kids, if I can change one person's life for the better, that would be more gratifying to me than winning 10 championships games. Don't get me wrong, I'm focused on winning this weekend's championship game, and it would mean a lot to me if I did win. Don, what is your tendonitis? Excuse me, tendonitis, what is your ultimate goal in elbow pong? To be the best. Last year, Rookie of the Year. Made it all the way to the championship game. Lost by one point. Chicken wing. Still say they paid the refs off. This year, undefeated. It's going to stay that way too after I beat Funny Bone in the championship game this weekend. After that, I'm going for the record books. I'm going to take every record in there. I don't want to be the next Gretzky or Jordan. When people think of greatness, I want them to think of my name. Those are pretty lofty goals, don't you think? No. If you or anybody else think I can't do it, you're fools. Describe funny bone and tendonitis in one word, and explain why you use that word. One word to describe funny bone? Genuine. Genuine because he's a good competitor, he's a good man, and I feel like I'm an all around better person because I know him. Uh, tendonitis, a uh, good word to describe him would be uh, pompous. Everything he does is tasteless and exaggerated. Uh, I'm not saying he's not a good pawn player, but he gives Trell Owens a run for his money sportsmanship wise. Um. I agree, agree wholeheartedly with you, man. But uh, I would take it one step farther and almost say that he's slime. He's uh, he's tarnishing the sport of elbow pong, you know? He's making a mockery of it. And uh, it's not taking it in the right direction. But uh, Funny Bone, he's, uh, he's an all-around great guy. And uh, if I had one word to describe him, I would probably use professional. He's, uh, he's that one person that everybody looks forward to, well, not really looks forward to playing on the schedule, but almost fears playing, just because they know how good he is. And uh, I think if everybody strove to be more like him, it would be a much better sport. Funny Bone, what was it about elbow pong that drew you to it? You know, this is a bit of a sensitive subject for me. See, 25 years ago, I had a dog named Rocco. Me and Rocco were the best of friends. We did everything together. Then one day, little Rocco got into the trash, ate some chocolate, and he died. From that day forward, I vowed to never eat chocolate again. It's 
pretty ironic that my sponsor is Hershey's Chocolate, but I digress. I was really depressed after that happened. I was almost suicidal. The only thing that kept my mind off Little Rocco was Elbow Palm. I played and I played and I played until I got pretty good. <sighs> One day, I got drafted into the EPA. And the rest is history. Tendinitis. What was it about Elbow Pong that drew you to it? I wouldn't say I was drawn to Elbow Pong. I was pretty much born into it. See, my father was one of the best minor league elbow pongers in the nation, but he never made it to the bros due to a, due to a serious case of tendonitis. Did your father get his tendonitis from playing? Hell no. It's virtually impossible to get tendonitis playing elbow pong. No, he got it playing drums for Bon Jovi in the off season. But that's neither here nor there. The point is, my father wanted me to succeed where destiny failed him. Ever since I can remember, it was elbow palm. Yeah, I never got to play soccer or baseball like the other kids. It was always elbow palm. By the time I was 13, I was better than most kids, even adults. In college, all four years, I was the best elbow ponger in the NCAA. I was the youngest player to ever play in a championship game professionally. Come this Saturday, I'll be the youngest to win it. I was raised to win. My father wouldn't have it any other way. How would you describe your style of play and your sense of fashion? Well, I'd say my style of play is defensive and mental. I like to get into my opponent's head and capitalize on his mistakes. As for my style, fashion, I wouldn't say I really had one. I guess my calling card would be that I wear goggles. Are the goggles used to enhance your eyesight? No, they're strictly protective. See, earlier in my career, I was notorious for getting hit in the eye with the ball. And after one critical hit to the eye, the, my doctor told me I could go blind forever. So. I wear the goggles, even if some people think they're goofy. You know, I like to compare myself to John Olerud. How would you describe your style of play and your sense of fashion? Well, I'm all about offense. The more speed and power, the better. The best defense is a good offense. That's always been my motto. And as for my fashion, well... I'd say I'm the sexiest man in elbow palm, if not all sports. <sighs> At least that's what the ladies tell me, if you know what I mean. Right. Well, that's all I'm going to need for today. Thank you for your time, Mr. Lewinsky. Oh, no problem. Anytime, anytime. Hey, you sure you don't need any more close-ups or, like, me to flex or something? No, that's quite all right. All right, so your loss. Make sure to get a lot of shots of me uh, during the cha championship game this weekend, all right? No problem, boss. Hello, and welcome to the 30th championship game of the EPA. I'm Dick Stevens, and with me as always is my pal, Steve Dickerson. How are you doing tonight, Steve? Good, and you? I'm doing awesome. Great. This is one beautiful Saturday afternoon we have here, and this is going to be a great match. We're in for a great match, aren't we, Steve? We sure are, Dick. And with the two competitors we have, the greatest elbow pongers in elbow pong, titans of the game, we are in for a treat. This is something that a college student couldn't even have scripted. That's right, Steve. Tonight we have two almost polar opposite pongers with the ever-popular Frank 
Funny Bone Jones, mm -hmm. and the infamous Don Tendonitis Lewinsky. Old versus young, good versus bad, offense versus defense, David versus Goliath. This is going to be a good one. And the only thing these two have in common is their excellent skill in this American pastime. Great game of elbow palm. You are exactly right, Dick. Today we will witness some of the greatest elbow ponging ever played in history. This one will go down in the books. I tell you that much. And now for the new viewers to elbow pong, do you think you could maybe explain the rules to them, my good friend Dick? I'd be delighted to. Tonight, Funny Bone and Tendonitis will be playing a best of three games. Each game goes to 11, and each player gets two serves on each of his, their turns. To win, the player in the lead must be two points ahead of his opponent. If the game is tied at 12, they go into deuce, and each player gets one serve each turn. The game continues until one player is leading by two points, and at that point, he becomes the winner. Each player is only allowed to use his hands once per round. A player can only use his hands on the serve if the ball goes outside of the sidelines before it reaches the baseline. Other than that, the players are only allowed to use their arms to hit the ball as long as their hands are within six inches of their body. It sounds simple, but as we've seen over the years, it takes a certain person to excel at this type of game. You're right, Dick. And just to get a little history behind the game, it's said that it was invented by a few bored kids in a basement one day. Their names, Nick and Ray Panetta, of course, Jared Dobecki, and Adam Douthright. They say it was spawned out of pure boredom, but I think they had a little involved, if you know what I mean. I don't know what you mean there, Steve. You know a little... I got what? You know, smoking the reefer. Reefer. Hash. Jube. Jube. Ganja. Ganja. Pot. Grass. Plant. Mowing the lawn. Mary Jane. A joint. Marijuana, Dick. Marijuana. Oh, why didn't you just say so in the first place, Steve? <sighs> well, anyway, the game's about to start, and Tendonitis has won the toss, so he'll be serving first. Let's kick it off. <laughs> Extremely fast. I doubt anyone was expecting that. <laughs> That's funny. That's exactly what your wife said about you last night. Screw you. <sighs> Tendonitis <sighs> just dominated that game. Hey, hey, much like your mother in bed, I, I'd, I'd like to say. The next game is about to get underway, and Funny Bone will start with the serve. Well, that sure was a tight one, wasn't it, Dick? I'd say so, Steve. Almost reminiscent of your sister. Well, I guess that's one thing our sisters don't have in common. <clears throat> Anyways, the third game is about to get underway with tendonitis serving.
funny the wins. Funny one wins the 30th championship game of the EPA. It's so exciting, isn't it, Dick? It's so exciting. What a great match it was. It was we great. We have our correspondent, April O'Neil, with the winner right now. April. Thanks, Dick. I'm here with our champion, Frank Funny Bone Jokes. Do you have any words to say tonight? <laughs> I've only got one thing to say. This one's for you, Rocco. Ah.